Okay, this screencast is uh, about the definition of poetry assignment you did. And I want to point out some, some good ones, uh, good responses here. Um, this is a, an interesting definition here, one that I don't necessarily agree with, but it, I, I'm interested in seeing how, it, how it's pulled off. I love the repetition of the words can it can be this we can see it can be a tool so uh, I think that's a very powerful way to look at poetry is it can do things that it's a, an active thing these are amongst my favorite words in other words most people were failing to elaborate on what they meant and they were expecting me to elaborate for them and you know in, if you're using these words a lot, then you're probably succeeding in almost any assignment that you do. So it's a good start here. To me, poetry is whatever I want it to be. Remember, I always ask you to relate any question to your own life. And that's always a good thing. You know, use elaborating and relating things to your own life are always good things to do when you answer any of my questions. Another important thing to do is to answer the question. You know, address all of the texts. That one. That one. That one. And that one. And then, related to things that you already know. There's a mention of the Divine Comedy and Kublai Khan. When I ask for a non-example, it's, it's pretty important, too. I mean, you know, descriptions can be poetic, but are they poetry? Um, I think everybody's experience with poetry is it's not as limited as they think. It's Maybe you haven't studied it formally, but there's a lot of informal understanding that you bring to anything. Music, for example. Some, some lyrics and music are immediately accessible as poetry, some aren't. Some rely as much on the rhythm and, and the sound as anything. But, this is a particularly good example of how I want you to respond to an assignment. Thanks, Lonnie.